They come from the Himalayas, they grow wild there, um, and they contain a natural detergent. When they get wet, they release a surfactant into the water. So if you put a couple in a little wash bag and put them in your washing machine, they'll clean your clothes without having to add any detergent or fabric softeners. There you go, and there's all the bubbles in there, which is what surfactants or saponins do when you add water. So this is what they do in your washing machine. They're low sudsing, so you can put them in the front loaders as well as top loaders or use them for hand washing. the faster the soap comes out. So if you use cold water, you can use them up to eight times. If you use warm water, try them three or four times. Hot water, just use them once or twice. I've done a fair bit of research on soap nuts and as far as I've been able to tell, I haven't found anyone who's allergic to them. So I would like to say that they're actually allergy free. They're fabulous for people who suffer from eczema, psoriasis and all different kind of chemical sensitivities. I don't actually need to use anything else other than soap nuts. I use uh, soap nuts for pretty much all of my household cleaning, all of my laundry. Uh, I sometimes add some essential oils. We use rainwater for everything and um, the soap nuts and the rainwater are just a great combination for us. It means that our grey water and our water recycling system is always pristine and I don't have to worry about how much soap nuts I put down the drain because I know that they're always safe. A concentrate of the liquid it's not slimy like soap it actually ends up being more sticky if you've got lots and lots of it on but if you put it on your hands and then use it like a hand wash and then rinse it off leaves your hands beautifully soft it's antibacterial antimicrobial totally chemical free and uh, biodegradable so it's great for your skin it's great for the environment it's made by mother nature